Hi, my name is Matt Perland. I'm from EnglishBanana.com and this is the new set of worksheets that I've written uh, in the last week or so. Used to plus infinitive. Um, got three activities in this pack. Uh, first ones are matching, so it's 20 sentences and you've got to match both parts. You know, I used to be a vegetarian. And then we're looking for the second part. Where is it? Hmm. But I've just eaten a big steak. And the second page is something similar to that. So students have to match together some nice vocabulary they can learn here. Uh, I used to play for Derby County, for example, that the best team, of course. But now, so what's the difference between past and now? It's a contrast. Uh, third page, or uh, third activity is really a blank. You can cut it into two parts. Uh, in the first part, students have to fill in the sentence are used to something, so they need to use their imagination. Uh, <clears throat> and then when they've done 10, they pass it to the to a partner or to another group. And they have to complete it, so they have to read what the first person put and then complete it with. But now, these days, at the moment, recently, and so on. And this is really nice, a nice activity. Students really seem to enjoy doing that. It's good for them to use their imagination and also to work with others and read what others have put. Not just sit there and write down 10 sentences themselves. What else have we got? Some uh, instructions, some information about used to. We use used to plus infinitive to describe habit, state, regular action in the past. And we've got the answers there for the first two worksheets. So, uh, this worksheet is now available. Go to EnglishBanana.com and you'll be able to find it there. I hope you'll enjoy using this used to plus infinitive and it's a really, uh, it's a useful and common construction that students should know how to use it. So thanks for watching and see you next time.